Hello and welcome back. We are starting with the last paid page of mod installation, page four. There's still the merge section and the finish line after that, but we are slowly but surely getting there. All right, first up we have the recipe and stat changers section, which begins with complete crafting overhaul remastered. Manual looks good. Has a BSA that we do want to extract. Okay, activate that. Open it up. Go to File Tree. And we are looking for textures, armor, circlets. And we're looking for circlet stone grayscale dot dds. Delete and yes. Okay. Let's close that. Next up we have complete alchemy and cooking overhaul. Looks good. And we do not need the um, BSA extracted. It does have two update files. And since they're updates, we keep the name the same and merge. No. And next up, manual looks good. And again, merge since it's an update. No. Next up, weapons, armor, clothing, and clutter fixes. Looks good. No on the BSA. This is an optional, not an update. So we change the name. It looks good. No. Activate those, and we want to delete the following file and or folder. Let's go to file tree. We're looking for this ESP, the bash patch list fix. Delete. Close that. Next up, armor and clothing extension. Looks good. No for the BSA. And then a optional file for that one. Manual looks good. No for the BSA on that one. Okay. One second. Sorry about that. I felt a sneeze coming, yet every time I hit mute and nothing happens. Alright, moving on. We have a ton of miscellaneous files from the uh, Crypto Peers patch hub. And these are all from the same patch hub, so they all need separate names. So, Amulets of Skyrim. Manual looks good. Manual set data looks good. Next up, campfire. Looks good. Next up, cloaks of Skyrim. Manual looks good. Faction crossbows. Manual looks good. <laughs> Falser, 
Yeah, Falstar. Looks good. Grey Cowl of Nocturnal. Looks good. Heavy Armory, WACCF, CCOR, and AMB. Looks good. Versus Armor, CCOR. I think it moved at the last second and I accidentally clicked JSU Swords. Yep. And that's not the one I want either. Well, it moved a lot. Alright. This is the one we're looking for. Immersive Armors. My brain was drawing a blank. Immersive Armor, manual, looks good. Prove close faced helmets. Nope, that's not the right one. There we go. Looks good. In a go. Not sure why there's two of them. Except Jesu Swords. Looks good. Moonpath Keiko. Looks good. Ordinator Keiko. Looks good. And Ordinator CCOR. That data looks good. Okay, Predator Vision. Looks good. Unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch. Wait a minute. Okay, yeah. For a second there, I didn't remember this being on the list, but it is on the list. Uh, looks good. Next up, Wayfarer's Coat. Looks good. Winter is coming. And from this one, there is a patch that we don't need. So let's see. Winter is coming. Manual. And we don't want the. Well, there's only one ESP, so uncheck that. No, wait, there was two. We don't want the other one. That's the one we don't want. Okay, so that's the ESP we don't want. The W or one NIV WIC cloaks underscore CCOR patch. We don't want the other one. So that's that. Then we have Worm's Tooth, which is the last one on the list. Looks good. Alright. And then. Let 
mod organizer seems to be lagging a bit. Alright, activate all of those. Next up, CCOR bandoliers patch fix. Okay, looks good. Next up, ISC CCOR patch, which came from one of Lexi's patch hubs, so we do need to change the name to that one. Set data, looks good. Next up, SJG Complete Alchemy and Cooking Overhaul. Yeah, Keiko patches. Manual. Okay, and we do not want two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we don't need Okay, so we do need a couple of them. All right, let's go through it. Ars Metallica Keiko patch, we do not need. Beyond Skyrim DLC Keiko patch, we don't need. KYE Keiko patch. KYE Light Keiko patch. Uh, LOTD Keiko, I got Lexi LOTD Keiko Consistency Patch, Omega MLU Keiko Patch, Omega SRCEO, Omega Sacrosanct, Omega Sky Test, Omega Vigor, and Omega WACCF Keiko. Okay, so the only one we need is the SIC Keiko and the AOS Keiko. Alright, looks good. Okay, Omega SR CEO Keiko patch. Downloaded from Lexi's patch hub, so there's that one. Manual. Set data. Looks good. Then we need the Omega Lexi LOTD Keiko consistency patch from her hub. That data looks good. Omega True Soldier, True Yeah, True Soldiers. Manual. That data looks good. Quasi PC Quinn's Unified Automated Self-Installing Patch Compendium has a foam mod which is apparently very complex, so let's maximize that. Alright, so the first page, we want nothing, so we want to uncheck that. All right. Next. Again, we want nothing, so uncheck, 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 uncheck. Next. On this one we want the patch for WACCF 1.0.1 .1 plus audio overhaul Skyrim. Okay, that's that one. And we want the immersive sounds compendium one, but we do not want the other two. Next. None, so uncheck the ones that are automatically selected. Next. We want none and none. Next. We want none, none. And this one we want the patch for Keiko and interesting NPCs. 
and we want the patch for Keiko and relationship dialogue overhaul so those two can stay checked and that one can get unchecked. Alright, next. Okay. Oh, there is another page. I was about to say, there's usually when it's uh, one of these, they don't have multiple pages, but this one does, so I guess it was extra complicated. All right, so we want none all the way down the line on this page, so. Okay, next, we want none, so uncheck, uncheck, uncheck. Next, none and none, and install. All right. Next up, CCOR merged consistency patch. Looks good. Oh, I didn't rename it. Next up, Skyrim revamped complete enemy overhaul. Looks good. No BSA needs to be extracted. Next up we have know your enemy. Looks good. We have to extract the contents of the Z patcher into the modules subdirectory of Z edit. So let's open that. File tree, open in Explorer. And I'll put them here just so I can keep them all together. But then it down to Z edit modules and just to double check know your know your armor patcher and know your enemy patcher are there okay close that Next up, Lethal Traps has a faux mod. Lethal Traps plus no Smilodon. Install. And we need to go in, file tree, and we need to delete the entire texture folder. And we need to delete meshes, trap, pressure, pressure plate. Okay, close that, and let's go ahead and activate the ones we've been installing. There we go. Next up, Violence, a kill move mod, has a faux mod. And we want plugin required, loose, and not for the last one. Okay. Loose and no. Okay, install. Next up, Wildcat, Combat of Skyrim. Looks good. 
No for extracting on the BSA. We have Ultimate Combat SE. Oops. Set data looks good. Next up we have Andromeda. Looks good. No for extracting the BSA. Next up we have Realistic AI Detection. Set data, it looks good. Next we have Class Overhaul Reimagined. Looks good. Next up we have Imperious. Looks good. No for extracting the BSA. Next we have Improved NPC Encounter Zones. Looks good. Next up we have In-Room Costs, which has a faux mod. We want the ESP FE. And I'm pretty sure we did not want anything else. Nope. Okay. Install. Next step, we have the WizKid Lootable Firewood Piles. Looks good. And let's go ahead and activate all of those. Now we have a special instruction that we need to manually download the SSE edit script and install it into the edit scripts folder in the SSE install. So let's go to manual downloads. Let's just extract to a folder. Okay, and we can cut. Go to utilities. SSE edit. Edit scripts and paste. Okay, close that. That's it for that. On to harvestable mammoth skulls. Set data. Looks good. Harvestable ta hanging taproot. Set data. Looks good. And no for the BSA. Next up we have Miscellus Miscellaneous College of Winterhold Tweaks with a faux mod. Lots of options. Okay. Alright, we want that one. We want not so fast Mage Guild version, yep. We want College Coup, Obscure College of Winterhold add-on. Immersive College NPC add-on, and Interesting NPCs add-on. All right, all of those were automatically selected. We're good. Dead Dunmer Delivery, check. Mage Light Maintenance, we want none. Governable Gatekeeper, okay. And Expedite the Expirate, okay. And we want Unflappable fla Faculty, blah, can't talk. We do not want friendly for all, do we? Wait, next page. Yes, we do. And let's see, none for Savros, none for Wizard Walk, Aratum, none. Okay, early elementalist, none. And we want the merged version. And none on the readme. Okay, install. Has a BSA, no for extracting. Next up, the magic spells and enchantments section. 
we have Apocalypse. Looks good. No for extracting. Is there anything that's going to be extracted? All right, not for a while, so we can stop having to check that. All right. No. Then we have the Apocalypse Ordinator compatibility. It's an optional file, so we need to change the name. Manual looks good. No for extracting. Alright, next up we have display spell tome level. Looks good. Then we have a mod, magic mod patch for it. It's a single page, so it shouldn't be too difficult. to the side and we have we want spell tome level apocalypse we want spell tome none 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 so yeah none all the way down the board looks like since we don't use any of these mods okay install. There were more options than were listed here, so I'm guessing that the fill mod hasn't been updated, but um, I can tell you that Apocalypse is the only magic mod we were using, so that's why that was the only one there. Alright, moving on. Display spell scroll level. This came from one of Lexi's patch hubs, so we do need to change it. There we go. Manual. Set data looks good. And then the display spell scroll level apocalypse patch. Again, came from the same patch hub, so change the name. Set data looks good. Alright, next up we have Thunderchild. Looks good. No for extracting. Summer Mist, Enchantments of Skyrim. Looks good. No for extracting. Mystic Condenser. Change the name, or not change the name, but set data. That's what I meant to say. Looks good. Alright. And just because I'm paranoid, I'm going to go double check and make sure none of those had BSAs that needed to be extracted. Alright, this section, no BSAs. Next section, no BSAs. No BSAs. Alright, so I need to remember that Pumping Iron is the first one that has a BSA extracted. Alright, back to where we were. Lock related loot. Looks good. Skyrim Coin Replacer Redux. Set data, looks good. This one has a replacer ESP, so let's go to the manual downloads. And I'm just going to copy. Skyrim Coin Replacer Redux. There we go. Paste and replace. Minimize. Alright. Next we have trade and barter. Looks good. Nope. Evolving value economy. Looks good. Next up, carriage and ferry travel overhaul. Looks good. And a miscellaneous patch. 
annual looks good and it looks like the patch can be flagged as an ESL so activate all of those and we want to run SSE edit select none scroll to the bottom and we are looking for on star patch okay background loader finished here to record flags edit yes ESL okay and close looks good Next up we have simply knock SSE. Looks good. No for the BSA. And we have a optional file I believe. Nope, this was a separate mod. Manual looks good. Next up we have vampires, werewolves, and bears. Oh my. Sacrosanct. Looks good. No for the BSA. Moonlight Tales. Looks good. No on the BSA. Moonlight Tales werebear form bug. Looks good. Moonlight Tales MCM looks good and we do have to flag that as an ESL so run S oh cancel out of that because I have not activated it so it probably will not show up pretty sure it would Select none, scroll to the bottom. We want that one. Okay. Background loader finished. Edit, yes, ESL, and okay. Close that. Looks good. All right, next up we have Predator Vision. Looks good. No for the BSA. And then we have an update file, so we can keep the, the name the same. Manual, looks good, and merge. No for the BSA. All right, next up, Pumping Iron. This one did need to be extracted. Looks good. Yes. Next up we have Your Own Thoughts. If I remember correctly this has a long, long faux mod. But that's okay. We will get through it. Alright, alternative game mechanics? No. Next. Skip the next one because there's only one option. But in this one we want Frostfall. We want Moonlight Tales. We want Lock Overhaul. We want Eloquent Eloquent Reader. Convenient Horses for Andromeda. Okay.
Next page. We want provincial courier service and nothing else. Next page. We want Falscar, Worm's Tooth, Helgen Reborn, Cutting Room Floor. We want Obscure's College of Winterhold, Grey Cowl, Legacy of the Dragonborn 5.2.0, which the faux mod picture hasn't been updated, but it works. Um, yes. We do, want, we do not want Vigilant. We don't want Project AHO, but we do want interesting NPCs. Okay, next. Okay, we want Ordinator. We do want Apocalypse with the Ordinator patch. Summer Mist, Imperious, Wildcat. Okay. Not Smilodon. We do want Sacrosanct, Andromeda, and Thunderchild. And that is all for this page. Next. And for this page, it looks like a bunch of nope. Because this is Creation Club content, and I'm pretty sure we don't do any Creation Club content, so. Just make sure nothing was automatically checked. It shouldn't be. Next. Nothing to choose on this page. Next. And install. So we were done. But just in case, let's go through. Yep. And back to the beginning. Next up, your own thoughts consistency patch. Manual. Set data. Looks good. I need to rename that because that came from one of Lexi's patch hubs. Next up, uh, compatibility patch for Brotherhood of Old. Looks good. Uh, let's see, patch for convenient horses. I'm going to change the name even though I didn't really need to. Just to make it more obvious what the mod is. Okay, next up. The Joseph Russell's writing patches. Alright, first up we have the convenient horses. Looks good. Cutting room floor writing patch. Looks good. Falscar writing patch. Looks good. And Grey Cowl of Nocturnal writing patch. Looks good. Okay, one, two, three, four. All of them can be safely flagged as ESLs. Let's go to SSE Edit. Select None. I don't think there's any downside to doing them all at once. OK, 
Okay, background loader finished. Start at the top and work our way down. ESL, okay. ESL, okay. ESL, okay. And lastly, ESL, okay. Now when we close, it should pop up all four. Yep, okay. Moving on, we have the RS Children Patch Compendium, which has three pages. And at least one of them is really, really long. So, joys there. All right, for the first page, we have, we want Keldnar, we want Oakwood, we want Books of Skyrim, we want Cutting Room Floor, we want Falscar, we do not want Etac Riverwood though, so let's uncheck that. We do want Forgotten City. We do want Helgen Reborn. Interesting NPCs. Yep. Moon and Star, yes. And then Worm's Tooth is the only other one we need on this page. Okay, next. Last page. We do want the Dunmer ish Nedry. Install. All right, looks good. Next up we have the MLU Amidian Born content add-on. She came from one of Lexi's patch hubs, so change the name. Set data, looks good. Activate, activate. Next up, miscellaneous merge consistency patch. Also from one of Lexi's patch hubs. Looks good. Next up, pre-bash consistency patch. Again, patch hub. Change the name, set data, looks good. Next up, Legacy of the Dragonborn patches, official, with a faux mod. And, ooh, this is a long one. Okay. Okay. So the first one we do want is Enhanced Lights and Effects. It's the only one on this page. Next. Amulets of Skyrim, Artifacts of Boethia, Ethereum, Bad Gremlin, Cloaks of Skyrim, Fossil Mining. Okay. We do want Oblivion Artifacts. We do want Royal Armory. And we do want Skyrim Unique Treasures. That's it. Let's just double check, make sure nothing was checked that we don't want checked. Okay. Next. We do want Heavy Armory and Immersive Armors. We do want JC Swords. We do not want Zemstain Weapons. Okay, next, next. We do want Falscar, Forgotten City, Grey Cowl, and Helgen Reborn. We do not want Moonpath to Elsewhere, Moon and Star, or we do want, sorry. Don't know why I said do not. Okay, so we do want all of those. Scroll down, we do want Worm's Tooth, and there is nothing else checked that we don't want. Okay, next. Next. We want nothing on this page, so uncheck Marloot Ultimate. Next. The 
this page we want Apophysis. We do want to check that. It wasn't automatically checked, so make sure you check that one. Uh, audio overhaul. We do want complete alchemy and cooking and CCOR. Both. Cutting room floor. Yes. Immersive sounds compendium. No. Okay. Keep it clean. Yes. And. Mystic condenser is automatically checked, but it's not listed here. Oh, there it is. Sorry. I thought that was the end of that page. My bizad. One second. Okay, so we did want Mystic condenser. We do want organized bandits in Skyrim. We do want RS Children and Ruins Clutter improved, so make sure you check that one. Uh, let's see, Serenity and Skyrim Revamped. Yes and yes. Skyrim Sewers, yes. Sky Test, yes. Smim, yes. Trade and Barter, yes. Weapons, Armor, Clothing, Clutter Fixes, yes. And no for the final Zim one. Next. Alright, so we want all three of the ones that are automatically selected. So, next. I understand, it's automatically selected. Oops. And install. Contains a BSA. Do we want to extract it? Yes, we do. Okay, and the idiot check, make sure that Zim's Thane Re Weapons Reborn, Maraloot Ultimate, Immersive Sounds Compendium, and Zim's Immersive Artifacts were unchecked. I'm pretty sure those are the ones I unchecked. Alright, next up we have Legacy of the Dragonborn Relic Notifications. Glad to see this back in the, mo in the guide. I think I installed it um, in my playthrough last, and it wasn't in the guide at the time. I'm not 100% sure if it was working 100% correctly, but now that it's in the guide officially, I can be I can be assured that it has a better chance of working. All right. All right. Main file next. We want Ethereum armory weapons, amulets of Skyrim, artifacts of Boethia. We want bad gremlins, cloaks, and fossil. Yep. We want oblivion artifacts. Royal armory and Skyrim unique treasures. Okay. Next. Falscar, Helgen reborn, moon and star, moon path. Yes. Forgotten city, gray cowl, and worm's tooth. Okay. We want armory add-on. Yes. We want heavy armor, or heavy armory, immersive armors, Jesu swords craft only, and Zim Stain weapons. Yes. Okay, next. And install. Okay. Next up, we have Lexi's LOTD Special Edition Consistency Patches. The first of which has a faux mod. Okay, so we want the all in all and we want to just install on the second page. Okay. Or not all in all, all in one, I should say. All in one install. Next, finish. Okay. Hello, and this is a quick insert. This was recorded after the end of this episode. Um, when you get to this part with the consistency patches, this is actually not the one you want because there's a uh, bug with this one that causes one of the uh, main quests in uh, Legacy of the Dragonborn to break. You want to go to the uh, Discord, Lexi's Discord, and I will put a link in the description of this video for that. 
um, you want this one, uh, patch 1.30 RC4. And you can download the file from Mega and install it manually in Mod Organizer. I've already uh, installed it, so. But yeah, you just go to that and select the file you downloaded, open it, and it'll go through the faux mod again. It's the exact same. Uh, in fact, I'll go ahead and do it again and replace what I've got. Just select all in one and finish. And hit replace. All right, thank you, and back to the rest of the video. Activate those. The other two are the ELE merge. Make sure to change the name. Set data, looks good. And then the weapons and armor. Set data, looks good. Next up, Quark Quinn's Ultimate Amulet Restoration Kit. Okay, looks like it only has two pages. So the first page we want normal ESP plugins, and the second page we only want amulet show on everything. Normal ESP, amulet show on everything, install. Okay, next up, interesting NPCs in Purious Patch. Looks good. Next up, file access interface for Skyrim SE. Looks good. Next up, Papyrus Util. Looks good. Serio's Cycle Hotkeys. Looks good. Oh, J containers should have come before that but I downloaded them in the wrong order. That is not a problem though. We can set directory, install it, and then just move it up one. There we go. Okay. Next up, conflict resolution. Again, that was from the patch hub, so make sure you name it, Lexi's LOTD SE Omega Conflict Resolution. There it is. Manual, set data, looks good. And we have reached the end. It's highly recommended you perform a backup of the work you have done on this page before continuing. I will do that off camera because it takes a while, but all you have to do is go to your mod organizer install, right click on the mods folder, and add to archive. You can use WinRAR, WinZip, 7-Zip, whatever. Okay. They recommend 7-Zip. In the next episode, we will begin with the merges. We are so close to finishing. Thank you for joining me. I will see you then.